South Africa may be home to big cities known to many around the world, but the heritage and culture of this melting pot of a country can be best seen in the many villages and small towns scattered in the valleys and plains of its vast countryside, known as the Karoo. Dutch settlers, French refugees, British colonists, many other Europeans as well as the indigenous people of this country have contributed to a whole host of pretty settlements, some known for their incredible natural landscapes, others known for their relics of South Africa's colonial past. In this video, we explore the most charming small towns in South Africa. We've collected a list of the top charming small towns in South Africa, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number one, Franchoke. Primarily famous for its centuries-old vineyards is the town of Franchoke. But it's the unspoiled Cape Dutch architecture that make this settlement one that is very charming to visit. The town gets its name from the Dutch Franschje Hook meaning French Corner, due to the fact that many French Huguenots fleeing religious persecution in Europe made their way here from 1688. The town is also one of the oldest in South Africa. Number 2. Tobag. The old town of Tobag is a veritable mecca for those interested in being surrounded by historical architecture. Having been home to an equal number of Huguenots and Dutch settlers, there are a mix of styles at work here and has such a long list of heritage buildings to discover and admire. This town is something of a hidden gem, being as picturesque as it is with dramatic mountains looming in the distance, and it's also a wine-producing region, which makes this beautiful town even better. Number 3. Hermanus. This western Cape Town is famous for its wine, whale-watching and beaches. The most well-known beaches in town are Volklip Beach and the Broad Grotto Beach, which look out onto Walker Bay, a protected area that's where up to 70 whales a time can be spotted. Each year between August and September hundreds of whales travel to the shallow waters of Walker Bay, which has a place on the top 10 whale watching locations according to WWF. Combined with its dramatic coastal scenery this makes Hermanus a great place to visit. Number 4. Prince Albert. Located on the edge of the Great Karoo, an unimaginably vast wilderness area like Australia's outback the town that would become Prince Albert was founded in 1762. Its long history means there are fine examples of Cape Dutch, Karoo and Victorian architecture scattered around town, with 13 of them designated as national monuments. Good quality restaurants, art galleries, and the very famous Art Deco showroom theater. It's not far from here to extremely scenic Swartberg Pass, a road which has run through the mountains of the same name since 1881. Number 5. Pilgrim's Rest. This town is the place to come if you want to learn more about the gold rush in South Africa. Being the second, after Mac Mac, to attract prospectors to find their fortunes in 1873. Not very much has changed here, so Pilgrim's Rest located in Pumalanga province is a very charming place to visit. It's practically a living museum. But there are also some quirky things to see here one being the Royal Hotel. With a bar located in an ex-church which was transported here from Cape Town. Number 6. Jeffreys Bay, a coastal town in eastern Cape province. Jeffreys Bay has made a name for itself as something of a surf mecca. In fact, it's known as the prime surfing location anywhere in South Africa. There's even a surf museum in town, complete with exhibitions and surfboard displays, tracing not only just the history of the sport, but the development of surfing in the town itself. This grew out of the town's hippie community of the 1960s and 70s. And now J Bay finds itself one of the fastest growing urban areas in the country. Surfing fans should visit now. Number 7. Grafrianet, one of the oldest towns in South Africa. Eastern Cape's Grafrianet earns a place on this list because it is packed full of heritage buildings for you to admire on your visit. Relatively large compared to many other towns that we have featured, 
The residential buildings here are whitewashed and screaming for photos to be taken of them, particularly those on Parsonage Street and Somerset Street. The Dutch Reformed Church, built in the late 19th century, towers above everything and is an impressive sight. Number 8. Grayton. This little town is a rural charmer, where you might encounter a wandering donkey or cow as you explore this quintessentially South African countryside settlement. Like so many in the country, this place began life as an agricultural village in 1854 and soon grew into the town it's known as today, quaint and quiet. The town also has several nice restaurants and cafes to sample when the heat gets too much a combination of old world charm and modern conveniences that keeps even South Africans coming back for chilled weekend breaks. Number 9. Clan William. This town in the Oliphants River Valley, Western Cape, with the Clan William and Bullshoke Dams, is particularly picturesque. With a population of 7,600, Clan William is a small town that dates back to the 1660s when Dutch pioneers named the Oliphants River after the numerous elephants they discovered on its banks. The first farm arrived in the valley in 1732, when the town was known as Jan Disselsvlei. But the name change occurred in the early 1800s with the arrival of British colonists. At last in the list, number 10, Genedendel, meaning Valley of Grace in Afrikaans, Genedendel is located at a dramatic location in the Riviera Sandaren Mountains, which is just 90 minutes drive from Cape Town. The town was originally called Baviansklyf and was built up around the site of the oldest mission station in South Africa, the Moravian Mission Station which was founded here in 1738. The sign outside the village invites people to visit the historic square and mission and step back in time so your time is best spent here wandering around this tiny but atmospheric slice of South Africa. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite most charming small towns in South Africa. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.